that can be really simple yet really confusing when it comes to embellishing your letters is the concept of drop shadowing. Today I'm going to start in what's going to be a series of a few different videos on drop shadowing to kind of talk about different ways to utilize it in your lettering and your planner wherever you use block letters or bubble letters. I'm breaking it into smaller chunks because I think that giving you a little bit and then some time to practice and then a little bit and then some time to practice is a lot better and more productive than a huge 30 minute video on all the different ways of drop shadowing where then you're going to be sitting there being overwhelmed. If you like being overwhelmed, I apologize, but for the rest of you, let's jump into it. Drop shadowing is, it's fairly simple. It's the, the shadow that sits underneath your letter as like an embellishment. The biggest question is where do you put it? And that's kind of the focus of this video and how you find where to place it is based on where your imagined light source is coming from. So imagine you have a letter and and then you have your light source, whether it's the sun or something else, and it's shining onto your letter. Think about the direction that the light is hitting your letter and where that light is hitting, the opposite sides is where the shadow is going to be placed. So if you have a light source that is up on like the upper left of your letter, which is what I generally do for my drop shadowing, it's just my favorite place to put it. Yeah, it's my favorite place to put it. Then your drop shadow, if your light source is on the upper left, your drop shadow will be on the right hand side of your letter and the bottom of your letter because the light is coming down on the left and the top. Every right hand edge and every bottom edge should be where you place your shadow. If you have a light source that is coming from underneath, you can find so many sex jokes to make in this video. If it's coming from underneath and to the right, then the opposite is true. Your drop shadow should be on the top edge and the left hand edge. Figure out where you want your light to be and then place your drop shadows accordingly. The big thing you wanna focus on here is being consistent. You wanna make sure that when you're making any sort of letters and you're putting drop shadows on like a word or some letter art or whatever it is you're doing, you wanna make sure your drop shadows are all in the same place. If you have some drop shadows on the left and the bottom and some shadows on the right and the bottom, you're gonna look at it and it's gonna look all fucking wonky. So you want to make sure to put your drop shadow in the same place every single time in one piece. What you're seeing right now is a demonstration of where I put my drop shadows on my capital bubble letters. I'm using a gray mild liner highlighter to show you where I place them. I'm not going into detail on fancy ways to make it look or different like ways to draw it out or different embellishments. We're gonna work on that in future videos. But for now, I just want you to take a look at where I put them so that you can have an idea of where you're supposed to put your drop shadows. Keep in mind that when I do most of my drop shadows, my light source is coming from the upper left. So all of my drop shadows are being placed on the right and on the bottom of every letter. You don't have to be perfect when you're doing this. You just wanna try and be consistent. It takes practice. My suggestion would be while you're practicing, use something like a highlighter. You can make the motions and figure out your placement without trying to get all fucking fancy with it. Don't try and get super fancy until you get comfortable about where you're putting it. Because if you get lost in the weeds of how cool to make it look, you're gonna start fucking up where you put it and you could ruin some perfectly decent looking block letters. If you are uncomfortable with placing them, you could always use a pencil lightly before you actually put your drop shadow down to make sure that you know where it's supposed to go, to you know where to put it, like Jon Snow, before you actually put ink down. If you go to the Llamas Love Lettering Facebook group, you will be able to find in the files a little practice sheet that has just my basic drop shadow uppercase bubble letter alphabet. This is basically a reference sheet for where I place my drop shadows. I know it helps some people to be able to see where they go so that they get the hang of where to place them. So if you would like that, you can find it there. Or if you become a patron, you can get your hands on this a day early. So in our next episode of Llamas Love Lettering, we will be talking more about drop shadowing. We will be entering into the realm of making what it actually looks like, how to make cool looking drop shadows, how to kind of alter them to make them look pretty rad. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.